Gui, welcome to FIA Insights. Today we're at Brands Hatch for the final round of the British Touring Car Championships. But the focus of today's video is on this all important IDR, the Impact Data Recorder, which is a game changer for national championships. I want to find out a little bit more about what it is, what it does, and how it's being used in testing. Let's go. So now let's speak to the FIA Safety Director, Nuno Costa, to find out a little bit more about the IDR and its evolution. So the IDR is uh, this small device. So it's an impact data recorder. Uh, it's very small, very light. It's transparent for the teams because you just uh, take it, you plug it in the center of the car, close to the center of gravity, and then they forget it for two years. Now with this device, because uh, it's much, much cheaper than what I mentioned a few minutes ago, that is Accent Data Recorder. We can have a device that we can deploy at grassroots level, that we can deploy at national level, and that can give us similar information to some of the devices that we use on the World Championships. Carl, thank you very much for speaking to us. So tell me, how does the IDR help promote safety? So from a team point of view, uh, it's a great device, really small, out the way, something that we don't really need to worry about. Um, as a championship, we're always trying to learn more about how we can keep our drivers safe. Um, as much as it's fun to go racing, that should never be at the expense of the driver's safety. So it's really important that we are able to analyse each impact. Um, it gives us a better idea of what happens in those split seconds of uh, an accident actually taking place. And we can look back and see what could be improved, um, what could be done differently to ensure that the driver is safe as possible. The IDR is right in the centre of the car, as close to the centre of gravity as possible. We actually fit ours onto the tunnel of the vehicle. It's out the way, the mechanics don't need to worry about it. Once it's fitted to the car, that's it. It can stay there for two years and we don't need to worry about it again. Who better than to speak to Mr. Alan Gow himself, the president of the Touring Car Commission and big boss of the British Touring Car Championship. Thank you for talking to us. Yeah, so how important is safety within the national level of motorsport? Well, it should be important at all levels, but uh, you know, we take it incredibly seriously uh, uh, nationally in, in, in the UK. And I think uh, you know, the UK have taken a great lead in, 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 in a lot of aspects of it. But without the IDR, how would you know what happened in, in, in the car? Um, and how, do you, how would you know what, what forces have acted on the car? You know, the information that's come out of the IDR over the last few years has helped advise the, 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 the sa very safety committees and ourselves on how we on how we handle incidents and how we handle the engineering of cars and circuits to, to handle those incidents. So it's already uh, important to us. ASNs can benefit not only from the data so that they get it, but it has some functionalities that we built in that can allow them to do some statistics. Uh, so what's important to mention as well, we collect the data, impact data, um, but uh, we have an app that allows people to, everyone, or they have sense to basically come to download the data, uh, to add the information as to when an accident happened. Uh, and then we have a database. And even ASNs without an engineering group, they can start looking to the data. Trying to have a device that is self-contained, plug and play effectively, you don't even have to plug it into anything, it works very well. Now we've deployed over a thousand uh, as trialling them in various different events um, and the feedback's been really good. Um, the app itself is very intuitive, very easy for the actual officials to actually download the information and once you've got that information it's very easy for us to actually understand and read that information a good effect. We've actually seen when we've had some very high speed impacts and although the drivers walks away unscathed it has given us an indication sometimes that maybe they should be going to the chief medical officer and just check for concussion because sometimes it may not be uh, noticed that they may have had something a bit more severe. to a very familiar face and very popular face in the British touring car paddock, it's Adam Morgan. Adam, 
Tell me, how has safety improved over the years that you've been behind the wheel? So I think with all forms of motorsport, it's all about performance. So as things are getting faster and faster and the cars are getting quicker, safety has to improve with it at the same time. Uh, and that includes everything from the roll cage to your driver equipment and the IDR that we have inside the car, which as a driver, we don't really know it's there, but we know it's there to look after us and to protect us should anything happen to the car, they can look into it and try and improve the safety and uh, keep it in line with the performance of the car. It's not just the teams, but it's also for, for the FIA as well. They can get that data back, uh, delve into it, see what's, what's happened, what's caused it. And with that data, then they can actually improve the safety going forward. And it's all this information that we get, which looks after the championship, but drivers as well. It just gives you peace of mind, you know, you're going out there knowing that you've got the best safety equipment that, that you can have. Um, and you know, in motorsport, anything can happen, you know, and nine times out of ten it doesn't, but you just need that one big crash to happen, which is no one's fault, and you need to know that you've got the best equipment possible to keep us protected. What do you feel is the future and the importance of the future of the IDR, not only at this level of championship, but across the board? I think it's imperative that we, that, that, that we all work together, uh, even from grassroots uh, motorsport all the way to the top level, you know, that everyone is protected, everyone's given the best protection services that they can have, and uh, we do what we can in our power to look after everybody. What an impressive piece of kit, and the more we can distribute this across national championships, the better it's going to be. And there is a huge push to develop more safety systems that are going to benefit all levels of motorsport. It's very exciting times. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.